In California, the worst measles outbreak in 15 years. Andrew Wakefield is excellent at pointing out problems caused by Andrew Wakefield. Also, fear of a made-up epidemic of something that isn't even a disease causes actual outbreak of actual disease. Is this all basically because of the anti-vaccination movement? Because parents aren't vaccinating their kids? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I think so. Less than a minute in and we're already telling the intended audience what assholes they are. Kudos. A bill that would ban exemptions from childhood vaccines. A bill that wouldn't have been necessary if you schmucks didn't think a porn star and a former doctor whose medical license was revoked are qualified to preach about medicine. So continue to hear that vaccine caused autism, even though that's been debunked. Measles outbreaks, bad science, debunking the autism connection. The first minute of X pretty much tells you everything that's wrong with the other 90 minutes. No need to watch my video. Just kidding, there are way more problems. Fuck that. Total bullshit. It doesn't. Sindra taking Penn and Teller's bullshit out of context. Saying vaccines don't cause autism was just an aside. The main point was... Even if vaccination did cause autism, which it fucking doesn't, anti-vaccination would still be bullshit. Get your children vaccinated. The Center for Disease Control can give you good information. Slow your roll there, Buckaroo. You need to build up a case that the President of the United States is in on the Big Pharma conspiracy. You can't just throw him into a montage and expect us to accept that. I've waited a long time to tell my story. AAC representation. UJK space? This hand model's just hitting random keys. You lied about the scientific findings. You sure did, Mr. Wakefield. You sure did. Well, William Thompson said that? You can't trust him. He's with the CDC. Usually movies hide phone numbers or replace them with 555. Luckily, this number is or was the CDC info line and not some individual. If the goal here was to inspire viewers to flood the CDC with phone calls, you failed. Also, stage reenactment of surprise phone call is staged. Also, film that claims to be down at the establishment is using an iPhone. The director said switch the phone to your other ear so we can see your face, but no one involved in creating the shot thought maybe he should also switch hands. A PhD in environmental biology makes you qualified to discuss wildlife and ecosystems, not human medicine. You have a son with autism. Brian's wife is named Autism. Their son remains anonymous. In the original footage, this person's face is not blurred. I blurred it because I have no evidence that he consented to being filmed. I have been part of the problem. Describing autistic people as a problem. Two weeks after his 15-month vaccines, then he lost all language. 15 months? If he had any language to lose, that means he's hyperlexic. He lost all eye contact. Eye contact is something you do, not an attribute you can gain or lose. You'd pick him up and he would just hang limp. No language, no eye contact, limp body. <gasps> My word, vaccines make you fall asleep. Why did you need to record Thompson without his knowledge if he's leaking data willingly? Did you catch him in a lie or is he a whistleblower? Which is it? The CDC has put the research 10 years behind. This number brought to you by Dr. Thompson's anus. I am a board certified behavior analyst. Giving a platform to child abusers is always a sin. Also, if there were a connection between vaccines and autism, that would be in the realm of biology and neuroscience. How is a psychologist going to support your case? The prevalence of autism was about 1 in 15,000. Another random ass fool number. Even Leo Connor in the 1940s never claimed autistic people were that rare. Product placement. The growth of autism has been so high. That's true. Autism is so high, it's now the world's most famous basketball player. I've never felt like I could ever catch up anymore. What does that even mean? What were you caught up on before? Child abuse. No social emotional reciprocity. If you're playing the uses big words to sound smart but really knows fuck all about autism drinking game, take a shot now. No nonverbal communication. A complete lack of nonverbal communication is called full body paralysis, not autism. Blurred by me once again because no way in hell did this person consent to being filmed, much less from an angle specifically designed to show off the adult diaper. The second required area of deficit is the presence of stereo. A deficit is an absence or low level of whatever you're measuring. You just use deficit and presence of in the same sentence. Insistence on routines. Preference for routine is not a form of stimming. Inability to sense things correctly. Who decides what correctly means? Hold! Company hold! It's bad enough that Wakefield and his cronies are sharing autistic people's most vulnerable moments for the world to see. I'm not going to make them even more visible in a free internet video. Instead, I'll just add a sin right now for every exploitative meltdown scene in the movie. Okay? Okay. In a surprising moment of transparency, Andrew Wakefield is accurately labeled as a gastroenterologist, not an autism expert or anything like that. Andrew Wakefield is excellent at pointing out why Andrew Wakefield is not qualified to talk about autism. There's still one thing that needs to be corrected, though. There you go. Also, narration is presented as the filmmaker interviewing himself, giving the false impression of this being objective journalism. Also, narration. It's regression into autism. Or you could say recovery from neurotypical syndrome, but hey, why listen to me? I'm not a doctor. Oh wait, neither are you. If you don't believe me when I say Andrew Wakefield knows nothing about autism, maybe you'll believe Andrew Wakefield. I know nothing about autism. There you have it, folks, straight from the horse's mouth. If you'd like to spread Wakefield's message with the world, you can now order t-shirts and coffee mugs.
That's not a joke. That's actually self-promotion. Please buy my crap. Doctor, my child has terrible gastrointestinal issues. Gastrointestinal issues are not autism. Dr. Wakefield uh, has been shown, used absolutely fraudulent data. All the other studies were done, showed no connection whatsoever again and again and again. So it's an absolute lie that has killed thousands of kids. Once again, stock footage distinctly refutes everything Wakefield just said and everything he's about to say. I get it, they're trying to show the mainstream opinion and then offer a rebuttal, but all the movie's interviews are either ineffective at refuting what we just got away from or don't even try, so it reads as the opposite. This link between what appeared to be a novel type of intestinal inflammation and autistic regression in previously developmentally normal children. Considering neither normal development nor autistic regression are a real thing, I'd like to see the data supposedly connecting the two. Oh, silly me, it was fraudulent. It regressed into autism following the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. I've got someone in my earpiece telling me I haven't said correlation does not equal causation yet. Well, now I haven't, here's your sin. It wasn't our place to censor their story. Censorship is when the government shuts you up with fines, jail, or death. An association of gastroenterologists does not have the power to censor someone even if they wanted to. Our job was to report that story accurately. In that case, you're fired for incompetence. More work is needed to resolve this issue. That was the conclusion of the paper. Even if this setting the record straight moment weren't total bullshit, you still haven't owned up to the damage you caused and you encourage the damage to continue throughout this movie. Wow, that's like three sins at once. Being a medical journalist doesn't mean you went to medical school, you're basically just a writer. Once again, the person being interviewed as an expert does not have qualifications in the relevant field. Does Vax interview a single practicing medical doctor? Spoiler alert, the answer is no. I've spent the last seven years working on one of the best medical talk shows in the world. Notice he says talk show, not educational program or documentary or even historical fiction. That's like me citing real time with Bill Maher as the evidence for legalizing pot. There have been many, many studies proving that vaccines do not cause autism. Even the co-producer and co-writer of the anti vaccination movie is telling you that anti-vaccination is bullshit. Thousands of parents all telling the same story. Something doesn't become true just because a lot of people believe it. Two billion people believe the outcomes of football games are decided by an omnipotent sky daddy who hates gay people, but you and I both know it's really FSM's noodly appendage carrying the ball. The next day broke out in a fever. Yes, Dell, there is such a thing as vaccine injury, but it can't possibly be the same thing as autism because autism isn't an injury. Regressed into what we know as autism. So is autism a regression of brain development or a medical injury? Those words actually mean two different things. And never came back. You just as miss the entire alternative medicine miracle cure establishment you're supposed to be in cahoots with. Oops. Doctors used to be told to listen to their patients. Except that the patient was disabled, or gay, or transgender, or poor, or female, or black. Something's changed recently where the patient doesn't know what they're talking about. So we used to all be experts and hire doctors to tell us things we already knew? Parents have just been written off as though they have no idea what's really going on with their child. <laughs> say that a parent was just unaware that their child had issues and suddenly they realized at one year later that oh they have autism that doesn't make sense to me Del big trees in denial about people being in denial so meta what is this disconnect between medicine science and real parents most parents aren't doctors or scientists apparently i'm a better journalist than you because i figured that out not in years but in seconds creator of a magazine not a doctor Discount Jenny McCarthy is also accredited producer of Vax, even though her title card doesn't say it. I guess the CDC has to be transparent, but filmmakers don't. So close, but no, a dietitian would be a real doctor. A nutritionist is just an asshole who tells you you're still fat. I wanted a daughter first, and I wanted a son. You can't decide what genders your children will have, or in what order. You do know that, right? The most perfect parents that we could be. Me in my perfect mother mode. The likelihood that a set of parents are perfect is inversely proportional to the number of times they describe themselves as such. With all due respect, you're an artist and they're doctors, so they know best. This movie can't make up its mind about whether it agrees with itself. You're listening to, what, some rumor that you heard somewhere? You know what? She's talking so much sense, I'll take a sin off. My heart's not that cold. Billy could become deaf if I don't take him in now. Vaccinating only for fear of a deaf child is no less ableist than not vaccinating for fear of autism. I did say practicing. Jim Sears technically has their credentials, but when you've long since changed your career to TV personality, you tend to lose touch, as he will soon demonstrate. The Wakefield study came out. That study kind of pointed a finger at the MMR. I didn't give it to him on time. Child of, eh, just reckless endangerment still sin. I wanted to see what additional studies would show. You put your kid at risk of three deadly diseases because of a pilot study with 12 subjects? I better not tell you about the pilot study I was in or you'll start giving your kid ecstasy every day. You know, if everybody stopped vaccinating, we'd be going back to the dark ages. I now regret dismissing this guy because he is actually pro-vaccine, raising the question of why the editor kept his interview in the final cut. I better do what he says because he knows what he's talking about. But don't apply that same logic to doctors because they're part of Big Pharma or whatever. No 
nobody ever told me that there would be any side effect. I was just about to bring up the pamphlets and it's the next shot we cut to. Thank you, movie, once again for doing my job. Look, it says seizures right there. That means you read the word, saw it happen, had a doctor tell you that it was a seizure, and still couldn't find a better word than shaking in your interview. For me, it became really necessary to start looking at what types of medical issues are these children going through? You're a psychologist. What are the other factors that have brought them to this symptomology that we call autism? Those factors are called sex, or in some cases in vitro fertilization. Had a regressive type of behavior. Actions can be regressive now? If you're going to use words wrong, at least be consistent. Child abuse. Had completely lost all of their words. Did any of these parents check under the couch for those lost words? Grayscale filter and scary music sting lose their impact when placed on footage of adorable baby being adorable. No offense to all the other nurses out there, but a doctor you are categorically not. My oldest son, Ian, was born normal, uh, developing normally. You know how many times this movie uses the word normal? Ten times. You know how many times it provides a clear definition of what that word means? Zero. I'd say that's worth ten cents. He had a 104 fever. Which is not a sign of autism. And a rash all over his body. Also not autism. In order to understand why that might be, you have to understand something of the history of MMR vaccine. Actually, you would have to understand biology, neuroscience, and current vaccine ingredients. That vaccine caused meningitis. But not autism. It was recognized quickly and that vaccine was withdrawn in Canada. And is therefore not relevant to any point you're trying to make, unless that point is some Canadians have meningitis, or Canada is good at addressing pharmaceutical mistakes. The younger you got the vaccine, the greater the risk. That's because it was a procedure that caused meningitis, and the younger you are, the more susceptible you are to meningitis. Is there a similar risk in autism? No, because meningitis is a disease and autism is not. Case closed. Is age of exposure to MMR a risk for autism. Instead of pointing out the obvious, I'll just point out that non-medical things don't have risk factors. Just as it was for meningitis. Even if that made any sense. Which it fucking doesn't! It would still be irrelevant because as you just said, the vaccine that caused meningitis is not the same MMR vaccine in current use. We shared with the US Congress and the CDC. Because no one in the UK would buy it, but Americans are gullible. The story as told to us. By told to, you mean invented by. Which we have an obligation to report. By obligation, you mean financial incentive. The majority of children the word majority means more than 50%. The number of people who are autistic is 2% of vaccinated people and 2% of unvaccinated people. Well, because Andy Wakefield had... Andy's buddy Dell knows he can't get away with calling him doctor. ...put forth this theory. Only a scientist can create theories. Andy Wakefield has suggested speculations. The age at which you receive the MMR may increase your risk of autism. And even if Andy Wakefield were a scientist, that's a hypothesis, not a theory. Nobody had ever requested those data because it was a big secret that you could do it. Just because not many people know something doesn't mean the information is intentionally hidden. Most people don't know what a Labradoodle is, but a simple Google search will dispel the mystery. If all you have to do to get the data is request it, it's not a secret. What Thompson identified was a legal loophole that is referred to as a citizen's request. And that's not a loophole. That's just a thing you can do. An example of a loophole would be getting a parent to sign a photo release so you can film their child. It allowed Thompson to deliver to Brian Hooker potentially classified information. Potentially classified? Classified? It's either classified or it isn't. Then the diarrhea. Not autism. Rock hard bloated tummy. Not autism. His hair fell out. Not his... autism. And I would lie in bed at night just listening to this thud. Neglect, which is a form of child abuse. We really needed eight seconds of this guy licking his lips because it's so crucial to the plot. A real tragic tragic case. They don't study vaccines proactively. That's because the CDC only studies new vaccines and doesn't waste resources reevaluating things we already know are safe. Temporal association between. Temporal association, the fanciest possible way of saying a coincidence. I had done a, an extensive research into measles vaccine safety and MMR vaccine safety. And as the patent owner for the single measles vaccine, I obviously have no conflict of interest. There are lots of errors here, but there are things I've already mentioned, so sin for making me read all of this just to check for errors. Founder of a hate group, not a doctor. Diagnosed with autism back in 1998. Which means she's at least 20 years old now. Why not interview her? Did she perhaps decline to be in a movie that calls her a horrible tragedy? 
Don't think I didn't notice that not a single person interviewed in this movie is autistic. It's not like there aren't people you could find who have internalized ableism and buy into Wakefield's claims, but to acknowledge even one of them would be an admission that autistic people have opinions. Come to think of it, there's another missing perspective here on top of doctors and autistic people. See, if I made a movie exposing a corporation for polluting a river and getting a town cancer, interviewing somebody who lived in that town and got cancer would be my top priority. It's like Documentary 101. The alleged purpose of Vax is to assert that a medical procedure causes children to become autistic as a result of vaccine injury. Yet the filmmakers interview with zero practice medical doctors, zero autistic people, and zero vaccine-injured people! What's left is just Andy Wakefield's friends. It's basically a 90-minute circle jerk. Come on, that's worth more than one sin. Shameless self-promotion. Typically that wouldn't be a sin, but in this case you should be ashamed. Epidemic, devastating, medical, salt, health, canaries in the coal mine implies that we're dead, fuck you dyslexic people, writing a book called Vaccines 2.0 when you obviously failed your Vaccines 1.0 class, incorrect use of careful and safe, intentionally misleading company name. I'm just assuming, you know? We got a formal diagnosis of, of full syndrome autism. The term you're thinking of is Asperger syndrome. No medical book has ever called it whatever the fuck you just called it. It was a hopeless, pessimistic future. That sentence makes no chronological sense. Likely to be in an institution. Five sins for even considering sending her to an institution. The best thing we could do was to accept the inevitable. But it doesn't sound like you did. The editor wants us to believe that not only do vaccines make you autistic, but so does sewage, air pollution, and planes? The fuck? They had never seen anything like this before. And obviously they weren't paying attention because Connor and Asperger were published 60 years ago. We've all lived through it. You did not live through it, your son did. Disease, despair, defeat, and diagnosing something that isn't medical. These people sure love their D words. Put all of this stuff together in a magazine called Autism File. All of it? Even the diarrhea, bloating, and hair loss that aren't autism? These questions from these parents were not being answered by the doctors that they went to see. And you're advancing the careers of autistic doctors, how? They came to us out of desperation. So you thought, let's make sure we monetize this? Apparently there weren't enough issues of the autism file to complete this visual effect, so 10 of them had to be reissued. Five of them had to be issued three times. Hey, who's that fella? I looked first of all at males versus females. Then I looked at black males. Is this starting to sound racist to you? Until a black male tells me it's not racist, I'll assume it's racist. The relative risk of them receiving an autism diagnosis was astronomical. Non-white people are far less likely to get a DSM assessment, so you definitely made that up. I really had to scratch my head and say, I know nothing about the MMR vaccine. I know I know nothing about the MMR. I know nothing about autism. I know nothing about the MMR. I know nothing about autism. And with your powers combined, you simply know nothing. The CDC had known all along there was this MMR autism risk. The CDC hasn't even found a way to test that hypothesis, much less produce results. The first thing that Thompson did was to plot a graph of percentage of children vaccinated against age at first MMR vaccination. Doesn't age of first MMR vaccine presuppose that all of them were vaccinated? vaccinated at least once. If there's no link between early MMR and autism, those two lines should track together. Correlation is not equal. Oh, wait, I already said that. This was their first indication that MMR vaccine was causing autism. Okay, for all the anti-vaxxers watching who haven't rage quit yet, let me break this down for you. Wealthier families are more likely to be able to afford thousand dollar psychologist visits, which may result in documents saying, yes, this person is autistic. People who suspect they or the child may be autistic but can't afford a psychologist don't add to the autism statistic. Wealthy families are also able to afford comprehensive medical care, including immunization. Wealth correlates with immunization, and wealth correlates with autism getting documented, therefore money causes autism, and you should reduce your risk by sending all of your liquid assets to me. Did I mention the t-shirts and coffee mugs? That finding alone rocked Thompson back on his heels. Did Thompson say that? Did you have a secret phone recording of him saying that? No? Okay, then I'll assume he never said that. Recording phone conversations would almost seem cruel. And yet you did it anyway and sent the results to another person. Whistleblowers can disappear as easily as they came. That doesn't explain why you recorded him without his consent. They're like a fish on a hook. And your job is to get them into the boat. And then Dr. Thompson dies and we eat his corpse because that's how analogies work. Isn't this racism a bit preemptive? You haven't established autism causation for any Americans. Movie gives up on credentials entirely and just calls Sheila an autism mom. Which is not even accurate because Sheila is not autistic. The minute we walked into the pediatric office, she's screaming her head off. I mean, she knows what's going on. Yes, Sheila, children don't like needles because they cause pain, just like how cough syrup is disgusting. In other breaking news... Fire hot! Ah, fire indeed hot! You're giving him an extra shot. I don't know what the effect of that's gonna be. We're leaving. Wait, miss, I haven't told you what the effect of that's gonna be, and uh, she's gone. Among the blacks. The blacks? Wow, that's even worse. Next we'll call them colored, and then, well, you know... He told me he was born that way. I said no, he wasn't. We know that 
autism is four times more common in boys. Citation needed. Thank you, B-roll, but we know what black people look like. Kibble's twin is amazing. Conventional wisdom says you shouldn't have a favorite child. Cheetle's wisdom says let's talk right next to my son about how his sister is so much better than him. She plays classical piano. She is fluent in three languages. Sounds like autism to me. One of the best decisions I made for her was to walk out of that office. That was the worst decision you made. I don't want to be one of those mothers standing there saying what I wish I would have, could have, should have done. Then you're extremely lucky your daughter never came in contact with any of the diseases you could have and should have got her immunized against. I want to be able to say I gave it everything that I had. <sighs> Helping a con artist exploit your children for money? Not off to a good start. This twin is going into the 11th grade and for someone who still can't manage to cross the street. Those things are not mutually exclusive. School buses exist. Hmm, yes. Your tears nourish me. I'm grateful my son lived. But if my daughter catches polio and dies, I'm okay with that. But I was so naive. Was? That should be am. Present tense. Yes. He would live a fulfilling life. He looks pretty fulfilled to me, as much as you'd expect a teenager to be. He would end up being a happy man. You, the viewer, didn't see it because I blurred his face, but there were smiles in, like, every other shot. Having a family. He's how old? 11th grade, so 17? Yeah, he's got plenty of time to do that. It's my dreams for him. Oh, so your children only exist to serve your aspirations. Every year that goes by, the further that dream seems to be. But, but, but he's about to be a legal adult. I swear, every person in this movie is more chronologically confused than the last one. Are vaccines safe? Yes, no connection between vaccines and autism. Ugh, they're finally using the bad stock footage. Even if vaccines did make people autistic, that wouldn't mean they're unsafe. The CDC's own vaccine schedule, which we are required to adhere to as parents in America. You mean in California? Apparently I'm a better journalist than you, because I live in California too, yet I understand that California laws don't apply to the U.S. Virgin Islands, American Small, Guam, Puerto Rico, Washington, D.C., or the other 49 states. I already wasn't taking you seriously, but the cute clip part makes it hard to take you seriously. This is actually the most dangerous time to deliver the MMR. Dangerous how? You haven't mentioned any danger yet. Even if I believed everything you said, the only side effect on my list is autism. That building is filled with a lot of scientists that are smarter than me. Humility? Assertion thinly disguised as a question cliche. You can't deviate from that analysis plan, or you're at risk of fraud. By this definition, Ivan Pavlov was a con artist. You know, you're also at risk of fraud if you collect blood samples without consent on a non-representative sample while knowing you have a conflict of interest and fail to mention any of those problems in your report. Just saying. Did they deviate from the analysis plan after seeing something that they didn't like? Assertion thinly disguised as- oh, wait, I just said that. What is it you think they didn't like? Oh, you're just gonna cut away. Okay, then. In order to conceal the effect of the MMR, what they had to do was to reduce the number of children in the study in order to reduce the statistical power. Explain how you determined that that was their intent. And they had agreed to use two sources of information. Oh, you're just going to keep going too. Wow, there are actually lots of problems in the very first sentence of this analysis plan, and yet you alleged whistleblowers are not talking about them. Second was the children's Georgia birth certificate record. In the state of Georgia, the doctor who just delivered your baby gives you a blank red piece of paper and says, here's your birth certificate. You fill in the details. Thanks, Obamacare. They chose to get the race data not from the school record, but from the Georgia birth certificate record. Is that the first in a new sin series? Because Andy Wakefield is great at nitpicking minor discrepancies that don't really matter. Instead of having 3,000 individuals in the study, it went down to about 1,800. 1,800 participants? That's still a huge sample size, held a lot better than 12. And what exactly are you doing when you slice up the data to look at only people who are both black and male? Does that somehow add more children to the study? And besides, you want to know why they threw out a bunch of the data? It's not because there's some racist conspiracy on top of the regular conspiracy. It's because the CDC discovered a bias in the data set that made it not a representative sample, and so they took out the bias. The black children these old white guys are talking about were part of an autism education initiative. They were autistic kids who had already been identified as autistic, but a lot of them weren't up to date on their immunizations and had to be vaccinated before joining the program. In other words, autism causes vaccines. I'm actually impressed you scored an interview with one of the people who discovered HIV, but a virologist is still an irrelevant expert because autism is not a virus. The title card says MD, but the same title card also says he hasn't been doing that since 1995, three years before the first time Andy Wakefield committed fraud. Trying to promote vaccination for children, and then they were doing the safety research themselves. Oh look, another asshat who's chronologically confused. The CDC did safety research first, then when the data came in, saying vaccines are safe, decided to tell the world what the data said. 
That is how science works. Huge multi-billion dollar vaccine in businesses. When you say 1% to pharmaceutical revenue, that sounds like very little, but this is a propaganda film, so let's call it billions of dollars instead. Vax was an oral painkiller, not a vaccine. Using the flashlight on your phone in broad daylight. Gardasil, the vaccine for HPV, is not given to babies. Will this movie ever focus on one topic, or is it actively trying to be wrong about as many things as possible? If a drug company gets just one vaccine added to the schedule, they can make upwards of $30 billion. This number brought to you by Brandy's Anus. It's no secret. I think they've published their intention. If they've published it, then I don't have to take your word about what they said, so I won't. Constant vaccination from cradle to grave. Hey, I can do that too. Mark Blacksell picks his nose and eats it. Look, some text on the screen says it, so it must be true. Flu shots, DTaP boosters, Gardasil shots. Separate measles, mumps, and rubella vaccines? Tell me, do you want me to stop vaccinating or just switch over to the ones your friend Andy patented? Those messages aren't compatible. If pharmaceutical drug was tested like this, it wouldn't be on the market. Says the person who sold the painkillers that were on the market without being properly tested. Our children are being experimented on. Yeah, that statement probably won't have the impact you hoped it would, considering the people you're talking to have already decided it's a good idea to shove bleach up the children's assholes. I I don't like to look at autism from a behavioral perspective. Just because it was a half hour ago, you think I forgot what you said about displays of emotion, demonstrations of vocabulary, and stimming. If I look at it from more of a what causes it. Then you're not even a real BCBA, much less a legitimate therapist. Child abuse. When I want to define autism. Oh boy, we're about to get the obligatory autism definition speech. Not just from a non-autistic person, but from a behaviorist. Brace yourselves. I have to say that it's the inability to detoxify the way you're supposed to, or at the rate that you're supposed to. Toxic overload. These children are not detoxifying from the vaccinations. Same thing with GMO products. The pesticides in our food exposed to more toxins. When I'm teaching the child, at least the child's getting better and not continuously getting worse. What's happened to Billy has changed his life. That can be said about literally everyone. Oh no, my child is highly skilled at a sport. Tragedy! Christian Rock. He's six foot two. Just because he's tall, we should be afraid of him? That's what police officers say about black people they just murdered for no reason. He's scary. Number one rule of story building, show, don't tell. On good days, Billy is brilliant. He's an angel. On bad days... Good days and bad days? Is he bipolar now? It's able fear mongering either way, but you should know autism and bipolarity are two different things. I mean, sure, a person can be both, but are you claiming that he's both because of vaccines or was he born bipolar and then caught the autism? Clarifications, people. They are important. The reason they become aggressive. This would be a great time to say if someone had complete control over your life and didn't even allow you to communicate in language, you'd probably lash out at them too. She's not going to say that. Of course she's not going to say that. And dangerous in some cases. Oh, so only some autistic people are dangerous, but all 150 million of us are aggressive? They have no ability to communicate. I thought I was communicating right now, but I guess I'm actually getting married, having a few kids, buying some stuff, moving to Florida, and dying. Who knew? And of course that is a massive intrusion in his space, and he is... Uh... I just traumatized my child, and I am proud of that face. Out there, there's millions of me's. There's millions of Polly Tommies. For all the fear-mongering about autism, that is the scariest thing you've said. With vaccine-damaged children. Does she by the clips of Bill you've shown us, he was not vaccine damaged. I do not want you to live the life that I've led. That's great advice, just not for the reasons you think it is. I do not want to see you suffer. I just want your children to suffer. I have no other reason to tell you about it. Other than to promote my book, movie, magazine, corporation, YouTube channel, and celebrity status, but other than that, just good intentions. Did any of these people consent to being filmed? I'm sure they have some school policy, but that's for MIT's own marketing, not for random fiction movies. I'm a senior research scientist here at MIT in the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Again, not seeing how that has anything to do with vaccines or autism. My best friend at the time had a son who was diagnosed with autism. You're not autistic. None of your friends or family are autistic, but a family member of one of your former friends is. Why not keep going until our expert witness has merely heard of autism? Oh, wait, you already did that with the HIV guy. A high fever after the shot, seizures a week later, and then was later di diagnosed with autism. Vax was released on April 1st, 2016, and then one one day later, on April 2nd, a plane crashed in San Diego, injuring five people and killing roller derbyist Tony Isbell. Comic book illustrator Galliano Ferry also died that day. I demand that the filmmakers be arrested for double homicide. We have to accept the fact that autism is new. Nope. Exponential growth is extremely scary. I'm a sucker for horror movies. Please scare me with exponential growth of my bank account. Since the mid to late 80s. I could remove a sin for the virtue of not differentiating Asperger syndrome, but I won't. It is a perfect exponential curve. There is an imperfection in this curve. It's hard to tell, but if you look closely, you can see it right there. By 2032, 80% of the boys born will end up on the autism spectrum. The future sounds wonderful. 
If we didn't show this kid playing basketball, you wouldn't know he's African American. You can make a movie about one thing, you don't need to use all the footage you have. Children who were perfectly healthy until they received their MMR vaccine. If they were perfectly healthy and then the MMR vaccine gave them autism and nothing else, then they're still perfectly healthy. This risk group includes essentially every healthy child in the world. Except for every child in the world who has cerebral palsy or Down syndrome or is blind or deaf or was born with nine fingers or eleven toes and is also healthy. I'm a single father. A single father who is also a doctor? Who am I kidding? Go for it. Severely autistic. Is this really the first use of functioning labels in this movie? I'm impressed we made it this far. Child abuse. Not so severe you don't trust her with knives. Candle is superfluous in a shot that obviously has three-point studio lighting. Step 1. Leave the room in search of video camera. Step 2. Retreat video camera. Step 3. Turn on video camera. Check battery level. Step 4. Return to baby. Step 5. Begin filming baby. Step 6. <laughs> make sure seizing baby doesn't choke to death. Come on, you can do it. Your typical mom thinks this person can understand her words of encouragement, despite the fact that she's 1. having a seizure, and 2. a 6 week old baby. And wait, is the isolated autism segment over already? Cause seizures are not autism! The vaccination gave her severe brain damage. Not. <gasps> Autism. <gasps> he got his MMR and he got his DTP. And within days, he stopped talking. Correlation, and you know the rest. Projectile vomiting, convulsions. Not autism, not autism. He went blind in his left eye. Call me back when he's autistic in his left eye. Vaccines took our healthy, happy baby and made him unwell. Visual aid fails to visually aid. She lost all acquired speech. Speech is fundamentally temporary. Like the flick of a switch. I gotta admit, Andy Wakefield is a better liar than this guy. Obviously some minority get hurt by this stuff. Bill Maher and I don't agree on a lot of things, but he definitely doesn't agree with you, no matter what careful editing makes it look like. His point was that all medical procedures are harmful to a tiny set of outliers, so why are we only upset about vaccines? One day everyone will know the truth about vaccines. But that day will be long after I die, because I refuse to believe evidence or use sound logic. In isolated autism. Oh, we're back to the isolated thing. What was with that detour? He saw an astronomical effect. If you say astronomical one more time, I'll be forced to break out the Princess Bride memes. Isolated autism, no other diagnosis versus those controls. The isolation is the control. I hope your environmental biology work isn't this incompetent. This shot gives me a fucking headache. Learn how to cinematograph. Cinematic. Learn how to film. Because it sounds small, but it really is a big problem. Describing autistic people as a problem. You know, I wouldn't have to repeat myself so much if the movie didn't repeat itself so much. All healthy children, no matter what race, are at risk. Autism is a health problem that black people have more of, but autism is not race specific and all autistic people are healthy? If I wasn't sure what to believe before, watching this movie would leave me far more confused. My sister's 18 months old and she's supposed to get her MMR shot right now. Supposed to, but not going to, so reckless endangerment. Again. Seven times more likely to get autism. I didn't want to be ageist, but at this point I'm convinced this kid has no idea what he's saying. So I hope my parents don't do it. You know what, dude? Go fo! Wait, you're like 12. I'll get back to you in six years. This is often referred to as the vax versus unvax study. You're the only one who calls it that. So why does the CDC refuse to do the vax versus unvax study? Because you can't study that. First of all, there's no scientific way to verify whether someone is autistic, and second, there are ethical problems with creating an unvaccinated control group for an already proven vaccine. The risk would be astronomical. I assume you mean the risk of measles, mumps, and or rubella outbreaks. Astronomical. Not a doctor, not autistic, not vaccine injured. And now it's one in more than 250 kids that are being damaged. False. Vaccine injury is not the lowest it has ever been at literally one in a million. That are being damaged in this country that are autistic. I'm running out of ways to say this, uh, conflating two things. Now those kids are gonna grow up. Almost acknowledging autistic adults. Let's wager a sin here. They aren't gonna die. Odd inflection for such good news, but let's power on. The bet goes up to two. It's not like a lot of diseases where they get infected and they drop dead. Odd inflection again should have emphasized it's not like diseases, but let's keep going. The stakes are high. Three sins for the taking. They're gonna live to be 50, 60 years old. You can remove four sins just by saying, and that's fine. Come on, I believe in you. Now who do you think's gonna take care of them? Ourselves? Worst case scenario, welfare? It's gonna be us, all of us, the taxpayers. Gotta interrupt with a for sure sin for implying autistic people don't pay taxes. But okay, welfare. If you just come out in support of welfare, I'll dock six sins. And it's going to cost, I think as you said, Miss Maloney, trillions of dollars. This number brought to you by Dan's and Miss Maloney's respective anuses, but I digress. Seven sins on the table, bring it home. So we can't let the pharmaceutical companies and our government No, 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 Dan Burton, you failed us all. To continue to hide behind this facade 
that there have been studies that conclusively prove otherwise. That's what studies do. Not everything you disagree with is a lie. It looked like scientific fraud was taking place. This could have become a 10 minute short film just by cutting all the redundancy. How do you struggle with scientific results? Struggling could mean the data are complex and they're struggling to make sure they analyze it correctly, but this is a propaganda film, so let's run with the most implausible interpretation. That doesn't make any sense. I think it doesn't make any sense is code for I dealt victory of a comprehension deficit. We have government scientists, lawyers, up over a children's safety study. Dill Bigtree is excellent at pointing out problems caused by Andrew Wakefield. Hey Brian, you learned how to switch hands on the phone. Good job. Product placement or illegal use of copyrighted imagery? And here, and here, and here. They were calling Dr. Thompson a liar. Considering everything you've shown me about Dr. Thompson, I think I believe them. Dr. Thompson predicted that this would happen. If you predict that people will call you a liar and then tell lies, that's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. Look, even the data table says black. Of all people, a British guy should understand why African American makes no sense. Why did this study end up taking four years? Hmm, maybe because of people like Andy Wakefield deliberately throwing a wrench in the works? What the heck happened between October 2002 and February of 2004? Well, in 2002, Andy Wakefield had just got his medical license revoked and began setting his sights on the U.S., and since no one in this movie believes in coincidences, that must be it. You have honored your parents by becoming either a doctor or a lawyer, but among those two options, doctor is not the path you chose. He would have to say that there is a causal association. For a lawyer, you sure like to make bold claims with no evidence. Apparently I'm a better journalist than you because I don't cite people's social media profiles as sources. Okay, the switch from CDC director to Merck is pretty shady, but it doesn't prove that it's even possible for a vaccine to make you autistic. This abstract has all the same problems as the one in the CDC paper you all hate so much. You have studied uh, vaccinated versus unvaccinated. We have not studied vaccinated versus unvaccinated. Never mind. So just okay. stop there. That, that was the meaning of my question. You wasted two minutes of my time. I thought only fictional lawyers did that. She was about to say because that would be unethical. We have got to get Thompson a whistleblower lawyer. Oh, yes. You care so much about Thompson's well-being. That's why you never asked his permission to put him in your movie to record him in the first place or... To reveal his name. Whistleblowers are in danger only as long as the only people who know their identity are their enemies. Tell that to Edward Snowden. Do vaccines cause autism? Nope. The average compensation for an autistic child is in the range of five million dollars. This number brought to you by Jim's anus. As the autism epidemic grew. Is this guy even a real lawyer? He looks and sounds like he's possessed by a demon. Oh, I guess he is a lawyer. Autism petitioners were denied their fair day in court. You just complained like a second ago about taxpayers footing the bill. Now you're complaining that the government is not using taxpayer money to hear frivolous lawsuits? That's about $285,000 per vaccine injured person. I don't know if I'm supposed to be outraged that families don't get enough money or outraged that I'm paying too much in taxes. What is your thesis, you self-contradicting movie? I got a call from an inside source. Since you don't have a secret recording of that phone call, I will assume that never happened. I mean, that's the standard we've set, right? I would not be able to tell on a medical talk show because a lot of our funding was coming from the pharmaceutical industry. The co-producer and co-writer of the anti-Big Pharma movie just told you he is part of Big Pharma. Wrap your head around that one. We're talking about the biggest medical story in the last decade. We have a morning after pill for HIV and no one picked that one up. Apparently I'm a better journalist than you because I don't make naive assumptions. The blogosphere. Even in 2016, the term blogosphere was already outdated. Oh wait, it's 2016 right now. We were never going to get this story. Did you pitch it? Did you even try? You know you can pitch a story, get denied, and then still make your conspiracy movie. In fact, doing that would make you more credible by conspiracy standards. Not only is my medical talk show being produced by the pharmaceutical industry, all of television is. And the Illuminati. They had so little material of substance, they're now repeating the stock footage. It's a tiny number of children who acquired measles. 644 children with measles is a tiny number to you? On a national scale, I suppose it is, but it's still 644 more than the number of children who ever got autism from a vaccine. This number brought to you by... Huh, I really don't know. Andy? Dell? Well, the important part is it came out of an anus. What happens if a good doctor sees the same data? This was your master plan? Set up Jim Sears as a doctor who disagrees with you, then reveal that he's basically just a talk show host, then when he agrees with you, turn him back into a doctor? We already saw him as a talk show host. We're not going to take him seriously, no matter whose side he's on. Michael Moore's protege, you are not. How long have you been a doctor, and sort of what's your area of specialty? Or you could have opened with, how long have you been a talk show host? Vax reinforces the stereotype that all Californians are stoners. It's really unbelievable. Meaning you don't believe it? We've been potentially destroying the brains of children. I didn't expect autistic testimony going in, but could somebody at least have the faintest fucking clue what the word autism means? Everything I've been telling my patients for the last 10 years 
has been based on a lie. If a piece of paper given to me by someone who clearly has an agenda says it, it must be true. Wait, you can't trust C-SPAN. They're owned by Pharma. Everyone is. Grievous harm to innocent children. What harm? Please tell me. You've just spent over an hour not specifying a type of harm. Somebody needs to reintroduce the Weldon Maloney bill. Weldon Maloney? Hey, isn't one of those your name? You need to take all of the vaccine safety responsibilities out of the CDC. I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. I think jail time is too good for these individuals. But I didn't have a conflict of interest while reading the data. We're just going to have extreme sick children. Yes, that is what will happen if we stop vaccinating. Half the children born end up on the autism spectrum. Parents that will be uh, so distracted by the challenge of bringing up these children. Think about this for one second. If half the children are autistic, then how many in the next generation have an autistic parent? As a statistical average, all of them will be fine. I'm gonna say, you know, I'm not gonna give the MMR vaccine to my babies, and here's why. Hey Andy, we used and repeated all the footage. What do we do now? Oh, just put some words on the screen. No. At the risk of getting serious, the only value I can see in Vax is deployed in a research class as a case study of filmmakers who, like most autism parents, claim to be the only ones uncovering answers on topics they actually know nothing about, sometimes by their own admission. I know nothing about autism. I know nothing about the MMR vaccine. If you knew nothing about autism going into this, the movie will only leave you more confused. Even reading dictionary definitions will give you a more accurate idea of what autism is than watching Vax will. Bloated tummy. Diarrhea. Fever. Rash. Vomiting. Seizures. Brain damage. Fever. GMO. Pesticides. Toxins. And while autism is the topic they get the most degrees wrong, it's also obvious the filmmakers know very little about, or are intentionally misrepresenting, how pharmaceutical companies work, how proper scientific research is conducted, the nature and purpose of the CDC, and of course, vaccines. I had done a, an extensive research into measles vaccine safety and MMR vaccine safety. From the initial brainstorm session to the final cut, there is no trimming of excess until a hundred branching plot threads get brought up for less than a minute and immediately abandoned. The movie sets up expectations and doesn't deliver on them because it simply moves on to another topic instead. Research ten years behind. Insistence on routines. It could only be environmental. They're gonna live to be 50, 60 years old. But not only does Vax fail to demonstrate any of its factual claims, it also fails disastrously as a motion picture narrative. There's virtually no action other than a bunch of talking heads being interviewed, yet none of them can speak from either professional credentials or personal experience. Experience. The only one who comes even close to being an expert on one of the film's many branching paths is Bill Thompson, who does not specialize in biology but is simply a data analyst, and it's called into question, within the movie I might add, that he might have been lying from the start. They were calling Dr. Thompson a liar. Even if we look at Vax purely for entertainment value, the narrative is all over the place, essentially throwing darts at a wall of subplot ideas with no central storyline to follow. The editing is rhythmically random, there's no narrative structure of rising and falling action, it's way longer than it needs to be because it keeps repeating the same talking points over and over, and the emotional beats lose all of their impact as soon as you realize that autistic isn't the worst thing a person can possibly be. So if you're wondering why people protest at screenings of Vaxxed, it's not because the protesters are part of the Big Pharma conspiracy, it's because Vaxxed is a terrible movie.